Hi friends, welcome. We'll continue our uh, learning on developing Python applications where earlier we have uh, bundled uh, our uh, SQLite database with our application and develop a standalone executable file so which contains the database and our app core application. Now same thing we'll extend and uh, we'll develop one more example where we'll be using an event calendar. We'll create one so in that the holiday list or uh, anything you can store it in a database and that database will integrate with our application so user can click the calendar date and based on the event associated with that it will be displayed it can be a holiday or any task list or it can be anything before we learn more about this my request is please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you'll be notified as and when we are tutor and we are frequently doing that also let's start the script Visit this URL to download the source code. So you will get it in the description below. So there are three parts of it. Part one will create the database. Then we will go to how we will integrate it. And finally how to build the application using the uh, command. So all the sample code and the instruction to do it is available. You can read that and download the entire source code. To create the database, let me just copy this part. So here it is the code I have copied and I have used it here. I just pasted it here. My calendar, the file name I have given. This is only to create the database in the same folder. So if once I run this, uh, the list will be created. Now let's just see this. Here it is. So this is holiday 2025 database file. So my calendar is my script. Now I will copy the my main application code. So going to top second one. Yeah, this is the holiday database. So this is the our main application, which one the code is here. So I'll just copy this, copy it. Now coming here, I don't need the database again. So I am using the same file name, pasted it here. So this is the 57 rows of code. This is a simple application only. It collects the data from the database and displays me. So let's just run it and see and note that this is running on the Python environment is not yet a full fledged application or a standalone application. I'm just clicking the date. I get the output next time going to next month. Here I am clicking it, getting the output here also. So now it is taking data from SQLite database and that I am uh, and it on this calendar. I can browse to other uh, months and years also and the database table also you can expand it by including future dates modifying the dates whatever data you are getting is a sample only so with now let's build the application this is our uh, directory where the application is note that this is the my underscore calendar is our python file this is what you will be converting to a application and holidays underscore 2025 is our database sqlite database file so this will be bundled or this will be combined along with this application now the application what you create is will be going to be in our uh, root directory so it is uh, my app in this will be there so you can see previously we have some application in the previous tutorials we have whatever you have created let it be there or you can delete it also so here our application will be created so our uh, path you can set it for this too so d drive my app so the application whatever we will uh, develop will be called as my calendar so let's go to our here it is so let me just move it a bit up yeah here it will be now let me, I am pasting the command, sorry, not here. Let me again. Okay, now let me move it uh, up a bit here. Now here I am pasting the command. Now here I have to do the changes. This is my previous command. So here I am giving the executable code path. In your case, if you are setting environment variable, you need not give everything and you have to just in start from the pi installer. So one file windowed, so one file means single file we are creating. So there is no uh, windows prompt is not required. That's what. And here I am adding the data first. So here I have to give the database name. I have to bring the cursor to here. Holidays underscore 2025 dot db. I am writing the database here. This will be bundled. So add data I am giving. Dispatch it. So here my app D you can see D my app. This is the finally the application whatever will be developing that will go there. Now what here it is sorry. 
application will go there now let me let us come to here we'll give the our uh, file name the source file name so this is the file name here it is my calendar you can see d testing escalate so here the same path i am writing it here my calendar.py that's all this sets the entire thing so one file window this is the database we are integrating and dispatch this is the output where inside d my app the app output will be and testing now this is the source file so there is a space in between note that in between these two so let's run this i am pressing enter so this will take bit time it will process it and then fine it started the processing it will take all the related libraries file and package it and bring it to uh, one single application including our database you can see it has completed it and the last line was there and it has come back to the prompt now let's go and see how our application is so let's here now here it is at the top you can see the my calendar app is there so 23 now let's just run this our application opens up this is the our final application it's running on its own it's uh, it's not in the python environment i can just click this here it is now i can go to next month whatever i have click this got it clicked and whatever based on our database setting this creates the uh, gives me the message about the particular day it can be a event calendar or a holiday list anything you can be further modified and note that we have get some sample data you can add or remove some some of the rows of data from the sqlite database while creating it that's all friends hope you have a good learning experience and uh, you can develop it and modify the code and change it to a different different application based on your requirement and if you have any doubt suggestion questions use the comment section below to post it and my request is please please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you'll be notified as and when we add tutorial and we are frequently doing that also please share this with your friends and thank you for watching